Welcome back everyone to your fourth bucket slash Spigo plugin development tutorial. Um, this tutorial will be working with Vault, which is a really, really cool API for managing your permissions, chat, and economy system. So um, this will work with a numerous number of plugins. Um, it'll hook into any of these plugins here. So we're going to only use the permissions part of Vault today. Um, so uh, and I'll be I'll be using Group Manager for my permissions plugin. So to download Vault, all you do is download it from this page. The link will be in the description. I'm sorry if you cannot see my mouse. <laughs> um, how about now? Oh well. Okay, so um, to set up Vault, we need to go to our compiler, and in our compiler, we are going to right-click on our project, and we're going to add external archives and just like you did with your Spigo or bucket jar we're going to import Vault. We just select it and we're going to add that to our build path so now we can work with Vault. Now because we are only using the permission side of Vault there are only a few things we need. One of them is we need this permissions uh, API variable so this is going to be a variable we can use to access the Vault permissions API. Um, and we will paste that in. I forgot the key. There we go. So we are going to have to import this. So we just mouse over the permission. And we're going to import it. Now this is not needed. Um, basically, uh, I'm not a big fan. Of, I, I love the plugin of Vault, but I do not love the formatting on it. Um, this is not needed because this will already equal null. We don't need to actually add that in. Um, yeah, just, just me and my OCD. And the other thing that we need is we just need this method here, set up permissions. And bring that over to our file here. And we're just going to paste that in. Paste that in anywhere in your um, project. And I'm just going to fix the formatting on here once again. Not a big fan of this guy's formatting. Love the plugin though. Really good developer. Um, and we import this. Now. Oh, one problem that I just did is that I imported the wrong permission. So if you mouse over here, the permission that you want to import is the net.milkbowl.vault permission. That's the one you want to import. Um, because this permission is uh, basically, um, it's a vault class, but then a lot of other classes are also called permission, and hence why we need the packages. You can see the packages avoid conflict. Um, so we're importing the net.milkbowl.vault permission. There we go. Now that should not throw any errors. The last thing we need to do is just go to our onEnable method. We're going to do uh, we're just going to do setup permissions. So all we're doing is running this method here. And then that will set up our permissions API for us. Vault made it really easy for us. Really good developer, once again. Um, now all we need to do, we need to go to our on arrow shoot event. And we just need to check if the player has the permission. So we can do if player... Oh, sorry. We want to do if permission. So we, we're going up to our permissions API. We set up up here. And we're saying if... The, so we're doing permission... Permission Oops. has, and so we need to compare two things. So we need to see if the player. So we need to give it the player. We need to give it the permission node we're checking it for. So the permission node, it can be anything you want, but for this plugin, we're going to use explosive arrows. Oh, shoot. And all that we need to do now, we need to go, and we just need to paste our code in. Save that, fix up our lines a little bit. And all we need to, all we need to do now is export it. Uh, yep, and finish. We're going to override it, go to our server, we're going to reload. And then we're going to switch back to Minecraft. Here we go. 
So I, for this demonstration only, I've de opt myself. So if I go to fire an explosive arrow, I am shifting or sneaking. Um, so I go to fire explosive arrow, nothing happens. Now if I use group manager to add that permission, so we're going to add that permission to me, explosive arrows dot shoot. Oh, we better, we better run it in the console because I don't have permission. <laughs> so I'm going to run it in my console. Um, is it explosive arrows dot shoot. There, there we go. So we've added that permission node. Now let's try. I don't have enough TNT. Let's get a TNT. And shoot. And it's working perfectly. So now, um, one thing to remember is that if you are opt on the server, you will automatically have that permission node. That's just something Vault um, has set up. So if I opt myself, you'll see, and I remove the permission node, menu, I think it's menu Dell. There we go, and I remove the permission node, you'll see I can still fire explosive arrows. And that is because I'm opt. So if I de opt myself, you can see I can no longer fire explosive arrows. So that is how you implement permissions into your plugin. Very, very simple. Vault made it very, very easy for us. So in the next uh, plugin development tutorial, we're going to go over code cleanup. And we're just going to be cleaning up our code, managing it into classes, showing how you'd normally lay out a plugin. Um, just, just some uh, simple things. We're also going to be reversing if statements and using returns. Um, you don't have to go on to the next plugin, but if you want to learn some really, really good formatting techniques, then I would recommend it. Um, but otherwise, you could just compile your plugin as is now and really just go ham with it. It would work absolutely fine. It's not going to work any different for the next one. We're just going to go over cleaning up the code. So. I really hope you enjoyed this series if you are stopping here. If not, if you're moving on to the next one, um, then move on to that and we'll, we'll, we'll go on a little bit more. Um, if, you want to, if you want to subscribe to my channel, um, just ask me what you want to see. Uh, put a comment down in the description to say, hey, um, I really want to see you create a, a plugin that does this. And I'll be like, yep, sweet. Um, that, that may only be like 10, 20 minutes. We'll, I'll go through it relatively fast, show you how to create it, all of the steps required, setting up everything perfectly. It'll look really nice, and it'll be something that, that you that you will be able to build alongside me. So, really, really hope you enjoy the series. Um, move on to the next one, definitely. If if you're really into it, you really want to learn how to do this cleanly as well. Move on to the next one, uh, it'll be a little bit longer, I know I'm dragging on a bit at the end, and I really hope you enjoyed it.